Um, I think we should probably get started. Um, Osvaldo, I think you're going to, can, can you kick us off? And Sure, I can do a little introduction. I'm Osvaldo Sala, I'm the president of the Ecological Society for a few more days. And I'm, I also have a day job that, <laughs> that I don't go there anymore, but <laughs> I'm a professor at Arizona State University. And this is a, I welcome the 2020 ESA award presentation. This is the first virtual award ceremony. So we have a lot of firsts this time. And we gather here to congratulate you to celebrate your achievement and we will recognize uh, for your contributions to discovery, teaching, sustainability, diversity, lifelong commitment. And the ESA has restructured the ESA awards this year to sort of highlight the importance of your accomplishments. And the way we're gonna do it, I think I'm gonna uh, introduce Katie Suding that most of you know. And Katie is a professor at University of Colorado and she's the chair of the awards committee. So Katie, it's all yours. Great, and th thank you Oswaldo. Um, well, first of all, I'm just super excited to, um, this is like a, a wonderful thing to be able to present um, the ESA awards and recognize the new ESA fellows. So, um, so welcome. Um, it's just great also to be able to recognize just the, all the, just the great intellect, the passion, the effort that everyone's um, put through. And so it's just, um, it's just amazing um, what um, just amazing people we have in our discipline and as part of ESA. So thanks for joining um, us today. Um, I'm gonna go through the rewards. I'm gonna share a screen. So it's kind of similar a little bit to how it would be kind of in a live presentation. The, the thing that I think might be a little bit um, awkward is that I won't be able to have someone come up to receive this award, right? Or even acknowledge them or have, have hand clamps. So I just wanna encourage that if you are here and you are, and I mention you as receiving award, interrupt me and say thank you or say something just real quick, you know, just to give a nod that um, just, just, just please acknowledge that, um, that you deserve this. And, um, and then also that um, please, if you're as part of the crowd, um, you know, say stuff in chat or um, say stuff with emotions, right? Um, definitely, um, definitely, contribute contribute this way because I don't want this to be just uh, um, just a, a, another list you know we all should be celebrating this okay so I want to start uh, this is not what I am looking to do darn, darn it um, trying to share my screen um, Are you a co-host? I think you have yeah. to be a co-host. Yeah, you, um, yeah, you need to be the host of the co-host. Unusual share screen right Danielle, now. Danielle, can you handle that? Make I'm Katie sorry, a I should have checked. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. I am trying to. Nope, I cannot do that. Doesn't look like. Oh. Uh, oh, you can see my desktop. Holy, don't look at that. Okay. <laughs> all the things that you promised all the, you were going to do. Okay. Now, now all, the, uh, all, the, all the grad students and postdocs are receiving awards now know, like, this is how leaders in the field, <laughs> you, you know, just, organize their, you know, okay. organize their workflow. Um, and <laughs> okay. So, the model um, well, thanks. Thanks for being here. Okay. So the first, um, the first award I, I want to um, I want to talk about is the Buell Award. Um, this is honoring Amuri Buell's dedication to ESA and to the younger generation of ecologists. Um, and so this award is presented to a student from the mo most outstanding oral presentation at the society's annual meeting. So last year, um, and it goes to um, Garub um, Sandil um, Candelar from um, UCLA. Um, his talk was, 
sorry, his, his talk was um, how microbially mediated fitness differences influence plant diversity. And it addressed um, coexistence theory in the context of microbially mediated fitness differences. Um, so congratulations. Thanks, Ms. Kitty. Yeah, please. Um, the runner up um, was Anya um, Sonjin from University of Connecticut. Her talk was entitled, Do Host Traits Affect Viral Transmission? Accounting for Imperfect Detection When Exploring Individual Level Heterogeneity. And it addressed the role of individual traits and imperfect detection on viral transmission in bats. So congratulations, Anna. Thank you. For the, <laughs> for the Lucy Braun um, Award, um, this is to honor Lucy Braun, who was an eminent um, plant ecologist and one of the charter members of the society. And it's given to a student for the most outstanding poster presentation at the ESA award meeting. And this award goes to um, Agostina Torres um, from um, Conicet, um and her um, poster at last year's meeting was titled Inverse Priority Effects, Order of Invasive Species Removal Affects Early Plant Community Assemblage. Um, and this poster addressed um, management of invasive plants while also testing the role of plant, um, plant assembly um, in, a, in a theoretical context. So congratulations, um, Augustina. Yay, yay. And the runner up um, for the, the Braun Award um, is Lynn Meng from Iowa State University. And her poster was um, titled Characterizing Spatiotemporal Changes of Spring Green Up Under Climate Change and Urbanization. And it addressed the timing of green up in urban areas. So congratulations, Lynn. Yay. Okay, so um, the William Skinner Cooper Award um, is in honor of one of the founders of modern plant biology in recognition of outstanding contributions in geobotany, physiographic ecology, plant succession, or the distribution of organisms across environmental gradients. And um, this one's to honor uh, um, a paper. And the, um, the winner um, is a, a paper that was le led authored by Carolina Levis um, with um, co co many co-authors, I guess, um, Flavia Costa, Franz Bongers, Mariela Pena Quaros, um, Charles Clements, Andre um, Junaera, Eduardo Neves, Aguado, Tamahana, Fernando Ghetto, and Hans de Sege. And this is in honor of their 2017 paper, Persistent Effects of Pre-Columbian Plant Domestication on Amazon Forest Composition. So congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a great paper. Thanks so much. The George Mercer Award um, is given in memory of a young um, British ecologist who was killed in action in World War I. And it's the oldest of the awards that ESA awards. The award is given to an author under 40 years of age in recognition of a single outstanding paper in ecology published in the last two years. And so um, this year, um, Jay Mason, Heberlane, Caitlin McKenzie, Jason Friedley, Susan Calix, and Richard Primack um, received this award. Actually, I could, only the people under 40 technically um, did um, for their 2019 paper, Phenological Mismatch with Trees Reduces Wildflower Carbon Budgets. Um, so congratulations. Yay, thanks. Thank you. The Eugene Odom Award recognizes an ecologist for outstanding work in ecology education. This award was um, was endowed by and named for the distinguished ecologist, Eugene Odom. Um, through teaching, outreach, and mentoring activities, um, recipients of this award have demonstrated their ability to relate basic ecological principles to human affairs. And the winner um, this year is um, Jennifer Funk um, at the University of California, Davis. Um, and Jennifer um, 
Funk is a thought leader in invasive plant research. She publishes in top tier journals and, and has secured impressive grant funding, but she's also um, committed by engaging students and a lot of undergrad students in this research um, very successfully. Um, she has mentored over 80 students from high school to postdoc and serves on as a mentor of several, several um, undergraduate research um, um, projects, including the um, Simmons STEM scholarship program for students facing difficult life and economics um, circumstances. So congratulations, Jen. Thank you, mm -hmm. thanks Katie, thanks everyone. Yeah, congratulations, <laughs> very deserving. Um, the Sustainability Science Award is given um, to the authors of scholarly work that makes the greatest con contribution to emerging science of ecosystem and regional sustainability through integration of ecological and social sciences. Um, and the winner of this, um, this award is Drew Harville of Cornell University for her 2019 book, Ocean Outbreak, Confronting the Rising Tide of Marine Disease. Um, and Drew's book is one of the most eloquent voices for ocean conservation. Um, in the word of one um, nominator, the narrative is beautifully written and provides hope that we can address massive emerging problems of mar marine disease outbreaks. This book will influence voters, policymakers, natural resource managers, and it'll make a huge contribution to e ocean health. So congratulations, Drew. Uh, thanks so much. It means a lot to be recognized, especially with an infectious disease book in this pandemic year. So thank you. <laughs> this is very timely. <laughs> oh, sorry. Everyone should read it. <laughs> the Innovation and Sustainability Science Award is given to authors of a peer-reviewed paper published in the last five years that exemplifies leading edge work on the solutions and pathways to sustainability challenges. And um, the, the award um, this year goes to Wengo Liu, Vanessa, Vanessa Hall, Charles Godfrey, David Tillman, Peter Gleck, Holger Hoff, Claudia <laughs> Fallhorse, Zengo Zhu, Min Chung, Yin Sun, and Sin Zai Lai for their 2018 paper, Nexus Approaches to Global Sustainable Development. And in this paper, they um, describe how the integration of ecology with other biophysical sciences, engineering and social sciences can foster more sustainable man management of multiple intertwined sectors and challenges, including biodiversity conservation. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And uh, also thanks to NSF, especially Liz Blatt who managed our grant uh, for so many years. Really appreciate it. Congratulations. Robert MacArthur Award. This award is given to an established ecologist mid-career for meritorious contributions to ecology in the expectation of continued outstanding ecological research. And this um, award um, goes to um, Jonathan Levine, Princeton University. Um, Jonathan is a leader in ecology best known for his work on structure, diversity, and invasibility of ecological communities. A hallmark of his work is the highly controlled experiments that make it possible to link theory and data, thereby exposing the fundamental processes regulating complicated systems. His work um, gives both inspiration and guidance in the field of ecology. Congratulations, Jonathan. Let's see here. The Distinguished Service Citation is given in recognition of long and distinguished service to ESA, to the larger scientific community, and to the larger purpose of ecology in the public welfare. Um, this award this year is given to Tony um, Jantos, um, who was at Boston University. And we, we honor um, Tony for his long and distinguished service. We honor Tony for his long and distinguished career, career of service. He brought a great um, vision and leadership to enhancing the role of ESA in public affairs, to advancing science of ecology and global change, and to communicating ecological society to decision makers and policymakers. So congratulations. 
Yay, Tony. Um, so the um, Eminent Ecologist Award um, is given to a senior ecologist in recognition of outstanding body of ecological work or sustained ecological contributions of extraordinary merit. This year, I'm pleased to um, award Monica Turner of um, University of Wisconsin um, this award. Monica's um, work has crystallized landscape ecology as a discipline and has shaped the field into a quantitative discipline grounded in theory about the processes that influence landscape dynamics. Dr. Turner's passion and convictions have also shaped the culture of this discipline. A hearty congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, the Robert um, Whitaker Distinguished Ecologist Award is an honorary award that recognizes an ecologist with an earned doctorate and outstanding record of contributions in ecology from outside the United States. Um, and this year, um, I'm pleased to award David Wardle um, of this award. David is one of the most influential ecologists of our time, and his work has helped shape out understanding of above ground, below ground linkages, and terrestrial systems, and how ecosystems change as they age, and the relationships between biodiversity and ecosystem um, function. So congratulations, David. The Whitaker Travel Award is a award that specifically recognizes outstanding ecologists in a developing country. And the Whitaker Travel Award provides funds for travel to the United States for research or to attend the ESA meeting. I hope this can be deferred. Um, so really pleased to, um, to award this to Julieta um, Aranabar um, from the University of Kuo. Kuo. Um, and she was selected to reserve the travel award due to the quality and innovation nature of her research, which emphasizes and the emphasis she places on transferring knowledge through education and outreach. She's an expert in South American dryland ecology um, and her travel will allow um, further collaboration and knowledge exchange in the United States. So congratulations. Okay, now we're gonna shift to the fellows. So those are all our, um, our, um, our awards that we, um, we um, award annually. Um, and so um, I'd, like to, I'd like to congratulate our 2020 fellows now. Um, these are just in alphabetical order. So um, Amy Klassen um, was elected for creative leadership and vision for international research collaborations using mountain ecosystems as models for climate change research. Her stellar contributions um, to the ecology of global environmental change, including how soil microbial diversity shapes ecosystems, biotic and environmental controls on soil nutrient cycling and carbon storage. So um, congratulations, Ami. May we say anything? What? Oh, can we talk? Can we make comments? You, yeah, you, you can just say something. Well, I just want to congratulate Amy and welcome her to the University of Michigan. Um, <laughs> That's right. That's right. Director, she just moved. Um, yes. Yeah, biological um. patient. So uh, <laughs> we're happy to have her here. Ellen Damption. Um, is um, elected for pioneering research in basic and applied plant ecology, including discoveries about long-term change and how landscape connectivity affects the diversity of eco ecological communities and our excellence in teaching and mentoring. So congratulations, Ellen. John Drake, elected for contributions to the understanding of tipping points in ecological and epidemiological systems and for the development of computational methods for modeling the spatial distribution of species. Congratulations, John. Sarita Fry, elected for su substantial contributions to our understanding of how soil organisms respond to environmental change and in turn impact the services that ecosystems provide across both space and time as well as leadership in the field of ecology, service to ESA, and tireless mentorship for the next generation of ecologists. Congratulations, Sarita. 
Nick Gotelli, uh, elected for con contributing outstanding leadership in ecology and ecological methodology in the fields of biodiversity science, community assembly, climate change, demography, and species distributions, as well as through his service to the Ecological Society of America. Congratulations, Nick. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Um, ben Halpern, elected for repeatedly transforming ecology and conservation, contrib contributing to understanding of biomass distributions and ecosystems, and contributing to landmark synthesis of human impacts on the ocean, and developing the Ocean Health Index, which refined how policymakers approach mar marine ecosystem assessments worldwide. Congratulations, Ben. Thank you very much. Andy Hansen, elected for fundamentally important contributions in landscape ecology, especially for new insights into how avian assemblages respond to forest landscape structure and management, how patterns of residential development are reshaping rural America and the New West, and for advancing conservation of protected areas in the US and worldwide. Congratulations, Andy. Carter Johnson, elected for recognition of a long, often cited record of accomplishments that have involved novel combinations of natural history, landscape dynamics, paleoecology, and ecosystem restoration, and for elucidating the impacts of climate change on prairie wetlands and the effects on stream flow regulation on the Missouri River. Congratulations, thank you, Carter. Thank you very much. I could add that this is my 50th year as a member of the Ecological Society of America. So. Getting the fellow award at the 50th is uh, quite a nice capstone. Thank you very much. Yes, congratulations. <laughs> awesome. Um, Michael Kaspari, elected for his work bridging macroecology, ant biology, and ecosystems, ecosystems ecology that has led to fundamental insights into the contributions of invertebrates to the brown food web and also paved the way for studying biogeochemistry across the periodic table and for being an inspiring teacher, re researcher, mentor, and friend. Congratulations, Michael. Julie Lockwood, elected for recognition of her contributions as well as a, as a leading invasion ecologist and senior author of the leading invasion biology textbook and for her voluminous research on patterns, impacts, and management of invasions. Congratulations, Julie. Gary Lovett, elected in recognition of a distinguished history of contributions to forest ecology, including studies of atmospheric deposition of nutrients and their impacts, and the disturbance of forest ecosystems by invasive plant pests and pathogens, often leading to significant change in forest management policy. Congratulations, Gary. For Fernando um, Mastre Gill, elected for outstanding contributions to the ecology of drylands that have illuminated how dry land plant and soil communities are likely to change in a warmer, drier future and the ecosystem consequences of those shifts and for fostering truly inclusive collaborative networks among the dryland ecologists of the world. Congratulations, Fernando. Newt Nadelhofer, elected for outstanding scholarly contributions to terrestrial biogeochemistry and to understanding the impacts of global environmental change and human activities on forest ecosystems, as well as to the applications of ecology to management and policy. Congratulations. Thank you all. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure knowing you all. Um, Shahid Naeem, elected for decades of research, writing, teaching, and outreach on the implications of diversity for ecosystem function, ecosystem services, and human welfare. And in recognition of his creative insight, his remarkable gift for designing experiments that resolve controversy and his ability to communicate and persuade, bringing consensus out of conflict. Congratulations, Shahid. <laughs> Um, Yud Pan, elected for groundbreaking contributions to scientific understandings of forests and global carbon cycling, emphasizing the magnitude and pattern of forest carbon sink, the importance of reducing tropical deforestation and degra degradation of climate change mitigation, and the critical role of forest age distributions when addressing disturbance legacies. Congratulations, Yud. 
Jennifer Powers, elected for contributions to long-term research that have advanced understanding of global change consequences, ecosystem ecology, restoration and conservation of seasonally dry tropical forests, a vastly understudied biome, and for training the next generation of tropical ecologists. Congratulations, Jennifer. Taylor Ricketts, elected for contributions to understanding ecosystems and the services they provide for human well-being. His discoveries related to pollination services for crops and his unique ability to bridge the science and decision-making worlds. Ensuring the new knowledge about ecosystem services is used by decision makers and conservation communities and beyond. Congratulations, Taylor. Thanks, everybody. Pat Serrano elected for her foundational work developing the field of landscape limnology and macro ecosystem ecology, her advancement of ecological understanding of lakes at broad scale and broad spatial and temporal scales, and her positive impacts on the method, tools, and perspective that researchers use to conduct data intensive ecology. Congratulations, Pat. Susan um, Usten, elected for her research pioneering the use of remote sensing technology for detecting changes in plant community characteristics, biological diversity, and land use, and for a continued influence on the field. Congratulations, Susan. Thank you very much. Diego um, Vasquez, elected for excellence in research on the ecology of species interactions, including the study of dynamics of internet interaction networks, the functioning and conservation of plant animal mutualisms, and the ecology of biological invasions. Congratulations, Diego. Mark Vellen, elected for innovative work on the underlying processes of ecological community dynamics, including the conceptual foundations of community ecology, understanding the nature and consequences of diversity, spanning ecology and evolution, and empirically studying the historical changes in plant communities and their diversity. Congratulations, Mark. Don Zack, elected for his pioneering research and leadership in microbial ecosystem and global change ecology that has revolutionized our understanding of how ecosystems acquire and cycle nutrients and for his outstanding service as a mentor who selfishly supports and enhances the work of others in the field. Congratulations, Don. So now I'm pleased to, um, to acknowledge um, early career fellows. Um, and so, um, so, 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 so these, these, these fellows um, are, um, are obviously early career, and we will also invite them to participate in a symposium next year to be able to present their um, results to ESA. Um, so Jacob um, Algier, elected for integrating ecosystem and community ecology to help advance understanding of nutrient dynamics in marine ecosystems and the role of consumers in mediating these responses, mediating these processes and the, for the efforts to apply this information towards the conservation of coastal marine systems. Congratulations, Jacob. Megan Avolio, elected for her plant ecology work in grasslands and in cities where she advances novel approaches to study biodiversity patterns, including focusing on dominant species, rank abundance curves, traits relevant for residential preference in cities, and genetic diversity. Um, congratulations, Megan. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Um, um, Car Carl Botinger, elected for his emerging leadership in the role of stochastic dynamics in both population ecology and open science. Congratulations, Carl. Um, Lauren Hallett, elected for making fundamental advances in population and community ecology, her effective application of ecological theory and concepts to real world restoration problems, her adept facilitation of collaborative teams and her commitment to open science. Congratulations, Lauren. Alexandra Harmon Threat, elected for critically important research in the ecology and conservation of native bee species and the meaningful contributions to training the next generation of ecologists, 
public outreach and the enhancing of diversity in science. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Naima Harris, elected for her innovative research on the conservation ecology of mammals, her exceptional outreach and community engagement, and her influential work on diversifying the discipline of ecology. Congratulations, Naima. Sarah Kubin, elected for her research on the impacts of invasive plant species on terrestrial plant communities and ecosystems, and for her leadership in applying research to management of invaded systems. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Jolie Lamb, elected for transformative environmental research and an outstanding contributions to science communication at the interface of ecosystem function and public health, particularly solutions-based research on ecosystem services of tropical seagrass meadows, the health of coral reefs, and the role of plastics across Southeast Asia as a pathway to infection diseases of, infectious diseases of corals. Congratulations, um, Joy. Thank you very much. I don't know actually what I need to say here, but there's more information um, here if you are interested in, um, in more of the background of the award winners. And thanks to everyone. Um, it was really an amazing um, group um, this year. I also just want to also thank all the nominators of these awards. It takes a lot of time to put together a nomination and it is essential for this um, for ESA awards to work. So thank you very much. And please consider passing that for that favor forward to and thinking about who you can nominate um, for the next cycle. I'd also want to thank our award subcommittee chairs. So I actually don't, I kind of just organize um, but the people that actually um, um, do the, the real, the work, work behind these awards um, are, is it makes a great team. So I just want to um, recognize um, Phoebe Zarneski, who does the Buell and Braun Awards, Carissa Brown, the Cooper Award, Elizabeth Borer, the I'm an Ecologist Award, Allison Power, Distinguished Service, Sarah Hobby leads the Fellows and Early Career Fellows Committee, Sasha Reed um, leads the Forest Reeve Whitaker Awards, um, Tony Ives, the MacArthur Award, Jeremy Fox, the Mercer Award, Vicki Rogers, the Odom Award, and Matt Leiben, the Sustainable Science um, and Innovation and Sustainable Science Awards. And if anyone's interested in becoming um, part of these um, committees, um, please, please let, um, let us know. So congratulations. I think um, I, 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 I want to break us up into groups, but first I think that everyone deserves at least one loud round of, um, of applause. So um, congratulations to everyone. Um, amazing. I'm sorry, I um, can't, can't congratulate you all in person. Um, we're, we're now our plan is to split into three breakout rooms. Um, for networking portion of the session. And so this is kind of to meet the other award um, winners and then also for people to meet the award winner. So almost like a mixer. Um, the breakout rooms will be for award winners and then another one for fellows and then another one for early career fellows. Um, and then there are um, subcommittee members um, of, the, of the award committees. And if you don't fall into one of these categories, you'll just be randomly assigned to one of these rooms just to mingle. Um, so once you're in a breakout room, um, start introductions, um, meet everyone, um, and, um, and, and then start, start some, some discussions. So, so thanks, thanks for everyone. Um, thanks again. Thank you, Thank Katie. You, Katie. Thank, you. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Katie. How do we do this? <laughs> I don't know, Catherine. Do I think um, Danielle is supposed to be. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer it to someone that that knows about breakout rooms and assignments. They're, they're taking control of the. They're gonna put us in, I believe, which should happen. I see something happening behind the scenes. 
depends if you any if second misbehave and put you in a group by yourself. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the text might wind up in timeout time time or something. Or something. Break out rooms right now. Out. They're a little delayed <laughs> because of the hurricane. Uh, where Where is the beer? When, when Katie first said break up, breakout rooms, Nick got up and walked out of shot for a second. I think he may have misunderstood. And <laughs> Wait, we have an <laughs> Going to another room in his own different. house. <laughs> yeah. they, they, you know, we're having big storms here on the East Coast. They say the tech lost power. So I'm wondering. Yeah, they just, works. yeah, they're working on the breakout rooms right now, but they lost power. Oh, yeah. so. Okay, so um, I guess we're just going to network all together until we can break out. So, I saw Zoe Carden not, nodding her head when you talked about storms in the east. Is it already in Massachusetts on the Cape? Yeah, I just left all my all my plants inside, and I'm watching the the branches outside the window go. Oh <laughs> so, could be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Show <But> us. <laughs> Point the yeah. camera to it. Yeah, <laughs> that would probably disconnect me. So I just. <laughs> <laughs> what are they projecting the gusts at there? 50 miles an hour, which is not so bad for a gust, but yeah. we'll see. That's pretty big. Well, good yeah. luck. Thanks. They, yeah. they measured one, they, uh, like a tornado came through. Was it Virginia or the coast of New Jersey? And they, right over a weather station, and they measured 109 miles an hour something like that. So, um, but I, I think hopefully, yeah, by the time it's up there, it's better. Um, I did hear from Kathy Weathers, who's the incoming president. Um, she has lost power in New York. And uh, I know it did a lot of damage going through um, Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. So it's a, it's, a, it's a bad day to be trying to keep people on a, a virtual meeting <laughs> through the yeah. whole weekend. They're expecting possible tornadoes in the Connecticut River Valley, so that would be right up around where where she is up mm -hmm. up through Millbrook and everything. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So, can I throw out a question? Does anybody have an exciting field story from this summer that they've been able to to do or get out with some students or? Well, I don't know how exciting it is, but we're we're lucky that we're in the San Juan Islands north of Seattle and we've been jetting around to all the islands in our boats doing our surveys. Of course, you can imagine the topic is ocean outbreaks. So we're studying uh, an infectious disease of seagrasses here. And uh, this weekend we also did some restoration ecology and put out, I don't know, 2000 some plants. <laughs> to try to restore some of our damaged beds. So it's been, you know, exciting that we're getting work done. We're, we're really grateful for that. I had this group of REUs that were supposed to be working with us in the field, but they had to be quarantined for two weeks. I didn't know what to do. And I didn't found that uh, trailers were very cheap. So I bought, I rented a trailer for each of them and quarantined them for the crane. They came to the site and they put it, I would put them in the trailers for two weeks and then they were able to mingle again as long as they didn't go outside the, the station. So that was good. <laughs> Osvaldo, where was the site? In Jornada, in New oh, Mexico. Jornada, okay. And you, you can get it, not a very fancy trailer for, I don't know, $50 or so for, per day. Or, I think that's super innovative. Put it there and <laughs> what? I, I think that's super impressive that you did that. I mean, we have our U students here at Friday Harbor Labs too, and and we've had to go through all kinds of quarantine protocols. But at least our local medical center is doing COVID testing, so everybody's getting tested. Um, but yeah, it's it's just a nightmare of protocols for sure. But yours yours tops them all, Osvaldo. Actually, renting trailers. Yeah, and I also, uh, I think it, all, it was good for us, good for them too. They needed some money for the summer. They needed experience and I don't know, we're trying. Well, I wonder if uh, how you all feel about, uh, for those at universities, the new semester beginning, um, 
it seems like for the epidemiologists, um, that will be a grand experiment. And for, for all of us um, that may have been somewhat insulated from the virus, um, a real, a real uh, confrontation of reality, I, I suspect. Um, I, I don't know what, it, have anybody opened yet and had initial experiences? We have uh, 75,000 students on campus and they're gonna, I think classes start next week. We'll see. Osvaldo, do you teach, do you lecture? No, I don't have to, I, I do lect, lecture last semester, but not this semester. Uh, and I had to, midway, I have to change to a Zoom lecture. Mm -hmm. That was kind of challenging. It was uh, difficult to maintain their students' attention. They always were cats, dogs, they were coming into the camera and then they, right. yeah, it was very difficult for, when you have them in a classroom, they cannot go anywhere. They, right. <laughs> so 75,000 students all in in-person classes and in dorms? Do we have a, 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 a three options that they call? The, the, the seventy-five thousand are in in on camp in the but they, of those they can choose between three options. One is the what they call the online that is obvious. The other one are in person, but the in person are only the small classes. All the the classes that had a lot of students all they went online, and then the big. Uh, Classrooms for 400 people now hold 50 people. They're all going to be distributed. And the third is what it called sync. That is sort of a a Zoom classes where uh, you just uh, give a lecture and people can interact via Zoom. And so there may be some people in person. So I mean, so we'll see how it works. It's it's challenging. I mean, they also, the biology department, the device, uh, uh, they do have their own test. They're testing everybody twice a week. I'm really wishing, this is Taylor talking, I'm really wishing we can just move everything outside and was jealous of people who might be in warmer, drier states than Vermont. Mm -hmm. um, so are people in warm places just like putting up wedding tents everywhere and moving things outside? We can do that for maybe seven weeks and then it's probably not so comfortable anymore. Well, we're not doing that at the University of Georgia, um, uh, even though the climate might be suitable for it. There were a number of things that I think made that um, uh, insurmountable, things like uh, ADA compliance, Disinfection procedures. If you would have an event, you know, like a um, exposure event in a in a tent or or something like that, uh, I suppose it's still an option for some special cases, but uh, not generally for us anyway. Oh, okay, thank you. The, something that is surprising is that enrollment is going is increasing very rapidly. In in the summer, there's a summer. Uh, Semester or semester, and we had 58,000 students enroll in the summer. Never those numbers. It's enormous. So it looks like a students cannot go to work, and then they see this as an opportunity to take online classes and move in their with their degrees. So, I don't know. Well, please, everybody, do your best to say, stay safe, to educate well, but stay safe while doing it. We had one uh, setback in the USGS when uh, someone tested positive, some younger person tested positive and decided to come into the office and tell their supervisor and everyone. So that, sh that shut all the labs down and <laughs> created some more instructions on why you would never ever want to do that. <laughs> so. 
Okay, I apologize, but I don't think the networking sessions are gonna are gonna work out. So congratulations, everyone. Um, looking forward to next year when we can connect and everyone, all the uh, wardies will be invited to the mixer next year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that we can at least have some of that celebration um, in person as well. Um, so, so thank you all, though. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It's a stellar bunch. So congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations to everybody. Thank thanks, Katie. And thanks to all the award committees for their work. Thank you all. Have a great day. Enjoy the meeting. Yes.